The story of with metformin is that it's been used in 70, for 70 years. Uh, it's one of the safest drugs available. I cannot think of many drugs, certainly not all drugs like that. Now, metformin was used to prevent flu, malaria, inflammatory diseases. And it's then when it was discovered that people with diabetes, it, that it lowers the glucose in people with diabetes. And then it became anti-diabetic drug. But it's really not how it started and it's not its main mechanism of action. Um, it's generic, so it's cheap. So if people are saying, hey, you know, um, aging treatment is for rich people? No, not if we start with metformin. Um, and metformin has all the preliminary data. All the study that I'm going to lead has been done, but not together, but individually. Um, it uh, prevented diabetes, it prevents cardiovascular disease, it prevents uh, MCI, it prevents mortality. I'll give you um, a, a, a one, one, one point on that. And TAME, which is targeting aging with metformin, will show that we can target aging. Oh, um, nine, nine studies around the world, all of them showing the same thing. People on metformin had less hospitalization for COVID and less mortality. And when I say less mortality, they had third the mortality of other people. It's really quite amazing. I mean, if people would use metformin, it would have prevented, you know, two thirds of the mortality, basically. Um, it's a little bit life on retrospect, but that's the data that we have. So this data is really cute because it's, um, there are almost 200,000 people who were recruited at this time to, through pharmacies in the UK. We cannot do it in the United States. And, um, and so those people here were assigned in blue, were assigned to a drug that's called sulfonylurea that is for diabetes. So those guys have diabetes and they get sulfonylurea. And we know that no matter how you treat diabetes, um, then the mortality here is double the mortality in red is people without diabetes, but in the same pharmacies treated by the same doctors, okay, but don't have diabetes. So this mortality has doubled in five years. But interestingly, 78,000 people on metformin in green had less mortality than the control, than both controls here. So remember, the people on metformin had diabetes, the control did not. They were more obese. They were more sick to begin with, and yet they had less mortality. So what I'm trying to say, metformin prevents all those diseases and mortality. So it's a pretty substantial uh, gerotherapeutic. And the way we're doing TAME is we're taking 3,000 people between the ages 65 and 80, so, and it's a placebo control trial. And our primary outcome is time until major diseases all cluster. On your metformin study, which is a revolutionizing study, you are basically using metformin as a tool to demonstrate that we can target aging as a disease, right? And you showed a slide um, with the, the possible mechanisms of action of uh, uh, metformin and uh, uh, there was also epigenetics. So my question is whether we know the epigenetic targets of metformin, and in particular, I'm interested um, in the intersection between the pathway, molecular pathways that are targeted by metformin, like such as uh, uh, mTOR and autophagy, and those targeted by exercise, because there are some uh, biohackers uh, that are afraid, actually, of combining metformin and exercise, because metformin may antagonize the hypertrophic response to exercise, which is mediated by mTOR, because um, metformin inhibits mTOR, but on the other hand, actually, it may enhance the, the increase in strength 
uh, after exercise, uh, which might be mediated by autophagy. So I don't know whether you have any thoughts on that, and uh, um, you can well, share your wisdom. Better than thoughts, I have I, I have a paper I, I published. So um, one of the first papers uh, took elderly, uh, gave them uh, and and exercised them. Half of them on metformin. Actually, the, the hypothesis was that it'll be additive through AMP kinase or some other things. And what they found and others found the same thing, okay, is that metformin, uh, exercise increased muscle mass, but less so in metformin, okay? And you're right, it's totally through mTOR, right? Because exercise uh, uh, activates mTOR. So we took the transcripts of the muscle biopsies before and after exercise with and without metformin. And, and let me just say why we did it. Because somewhere in this paper that I mentioned in Supplement 9, they actually told you what was the muscle function. And although without metformin, they had big, bigger muscle, the muscle function was equal between the groups, which really means in physics that for every gram of muscle, you did better, right? Because you had smaller muscle and yet the function was the same. And indeed, we saw that the mTOR dependent transcripts were decreased by, by metformin, but the autophagy anti-inflammation pathways, some other pathways have increased with metformin. So metformin build a muscle that was mo more appropriate for aging. And so I always say, if you want to show your muscles, then forget about metformin. But if you're concerned about aging, then exercise with metformin. <laughs> so that's it. Now the, the epigenetics, actually the, the, the good papers on metformin and epigenetics are, uh, are for histone acetylation, and there's much less of methylation. Although I've learned that if you um, do things with histone acetylation, if you open the histones, you're going to influence methylation too. Um, so, you know, maybe there is a, maybe there is a connection, uh, but it's mainly histone acetylation, and there is actually really a couple of really good papers uh, uh, about it. Great, thank you very much. So it's, I think uh, metformin works as a um, HDAC inhibitor, uh, histone deacetylase inhibitor. Correct. Yeah, as, as many of these uh, nutrients that are uh, uh, called epibioactive, they modulate the activity of this writer and eraser enzyme that plays and erase modifications from our epigenome. That's fascinating. Thank you. Thank you very much for all your insights uh, and for being with us. We will now open uh, the, the questions to the students. Um, and thank you again.